I tell you what, the terminal build on the control tower looks absolutely fantastic. The level of detail just f by flying past here looks incredible. Hello, Flight Sim fans, and welcome to the Practically Geek channel. In this video, I've landed here at Hovde Airport in Sweden, and we're going to be taking a look at this freeware scenery by the creator Borgulus on flightsim.to, and you can go and download this from the link in the description below. So let's go and check out this airport and see what it has to offer. Hufte Airport has one single Asphalt runway, runway 01 and 19, measuring in at 1736 meters. It does also have a gliding school, which you can see to the left. You can see the patch of grass is a bit different. The gliding school unfortunately isn't modeled in this freeway airport, but I believe the terminal and the rest of the airport is really, really great. As always, I'll be taking a look at the fault scenery first to show you what it looks like when you load it in without any add-ons installed. And then I'll jump into Borgulus's freeware scenery and show you how much that has improved. Gliding over the top here, it's one of the worst ones I've seen. Um, you might not think it, but certainly you can see some really weird things going on with the auto gem buildings which i'll show you in just a moment there is a car park and it doesn't look too bad the satellite imagery also doesn't look um bad but it, it isn't the best so we do have auto gen hangars and utility buildings and what looks like a fairly decent looking terminal building but you can see this very large auto gem building which has clipped off all the wings and tails of the general aviation aircraft down there and it just looks very odd indeed the hangar in front of us there has kind of a weird l kickoff shake down to the end and there's this weird racing track in the dirt just over by the runway there so i'm keen to see what the creator has done with this one to see you know to improve it and whether all this has been corrected so with that being said, let's jump right into Hufte Airport here in Sweden. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, there's a few little things I like to do before doing these freeware and payware videos. I try and make sure that I'm pronouncing the airports correctly, um, but I do apologize if I'm not. So let's jump into Borgulus's, again, if I'm saying that right, uh, wrong, please let me know, uh, Borgulus's freeware scenery and check out what he's done to improve this freeware scenery. Welcome back to Hovde Airport here in Sweden. I've loaded into Borgulus's scenery to have a look around and see how it's been improved from the default state. So let's have a look around and see where the improvements have been made. Moving from right to left over the airport here, the main body of the airport, you can see that there has been changes made lovely new custom hangars and buildings we've got perimeter fences in place the outer perimeter the car park has been redone the road leading up to the airport with the turnaround for i'd imagine buses and transport have all been retextured you can see the lovely new terminal building down below there and then the larger of the hangars has also been redone into a custom building Going in for a closer look then you can see there's a lot of custom static vehicles here and the ground clutter already looks absolutely amazing. I tell you what, the terminal build on the control tower looks absolutely fantastic. The level of detail just f by flying past here looks incredible. I love the perimeter fence with the gate there, the red gate and the custom antenna array there with different lights and maybe cameras on them and the outer perimeter with the extra foliage like new trees and the car park and this fuel depot looks absolutely insane where I parked my air uh, Ovation Mooney aircraft. This looks like a small cafe area and you can also see the new custom hangars with this cherry picker crane looks like it's doing some work and that's a lovely bit of detail and actually the uh, creator's done really well it's not a huge airport, but the detailing has been made where it really counts. 
just having a quick look over the land side area you can see the car parks now got mark white markings the lovely little jetty coming into the pond here looks lovely that's a lovely bit of detailing and overall the quality of the freeway scenery on offer here is absolutely tremendous just taking a look at this section for example this is just two fuel cylinders and a custom lamp post here you can see that there's weathering like moss and grass stains all the way along the edge of the concrete the imperfections in the metal with the cracks and just the level of detail really just in this particular section is insane again you can see how good the texturing is on the custom buildings by looking at this hangar you can see the metal shine from the safety edges of the ladder going up to the roof the sort of the corrugated i don't know sheet metal or um i don't know metal sides of the hangar you can see the bolts and the rivets going up the side of them the cracks in the concrete up the side paneling and again splendid splendid work and again, lovely detailing on the roof section here. Nothing looks like it's repeated. You can sometimes run into that with custom buildings where the patterns of weathering and dirt and rain are all repeated and you can see it just doesn't look realistic. But as you can see with this one, it looks absolutely amazing. You can even spot the bits of paint that have chipped off the side of the where the roof meets the walls. You can see all, all that. You can see as again the rivets and the bolts connecting the uh, metal in place for the edges of the roof it it's it's amazing yeah, and it and it's freeware and i'm right up close and you can see it is really well modeled there's no interior but honestly i really don't expect an interior you know with the quality that is on show here you can see you know the rays are coming through the glass the metal of the stairs is rusted in parts and the imperfections are so good in the scenery of, of obviously the concrete and the metals and the woods and the windows are all reflecting definitely some PBR texture and done there custom animated people here as well look amazing you can see the reflections on the side of that terminal building there absolutely amazing I would say that's more of a marble maybe um, or a shiny concrete but it looks absolutely insane. I love the reflection on those windows as well, even if the interior is a faked kind of picture on that. But again, absolutely amazing. As I mentioned before, this fuel depot here, with it's just one of the most detailed I've seen, even in even some of the payware ones don't do it like this. It, it's insane. The electric boxes, the, the wheelie bin, the green bin there down below, and just again imperfection cracks in the metalwork uh, maybe even ceramic um, materials actually but you can even see the reflections off that what, what looks like a hose wrapping around the ends of that fuel tank just below there it's absolutely amazing guys again this what looks like maybe a cafe building looks absolutely amazing and oh my word let's just zoom in and have a look at that little detail you can see where this um banner here has been ripped off and that is just some detail and that is some attention to detail right there it looks really amazing and again the lovely imperfections the rust and the weathering on this hanger on these hangers the lights coming off the side of them they're not sort of baked into the side of the hanger the cherry picker crane there the yellow um crane on wheels just adds to the detail there's no animated people on there for example but it just looks great just just as it is it looks amazing okay so it is now time to look at the night lighting for this airport let's roll our clocks back to 1 a.m and check the night lighting out so it's not bright in your eyes or uh, you know shockingly bright but I think the night lighting is nice and subtle. I think it's uh, not too dramatic. It is a small general aviation airport. I'd imagine even um, it's closed at night time, but we'll have a look around and see what little night lighting details have been added into this one. There's just some basic blue lights, but the illumination of the taxiway number lights there look really, really great and the ground markings. The apron lights look really great. There's um, a 
a few different ones on offer here but there is illumination from the signs of the terminal building and the lights on this side of each hangar as well the Hovde airport sign there looks really it's nice it doesn't look too bright it looks like it's sort of a, a more dull kind of yellowish hue light there that looks really creepy with him walking past there and just in general the light the lighting is in the correct places it's illuminating where it should be it's not too in your face it's really well really well done for a small airport like this and from this angle you can see just how realistic it all looks the little fuel tank here is well illuminated from these uh, custom post above it and the one in the far distance there the fuel depot where my plane is parked and you can see my plane is illuminated from this distance it looks absolutely fantastic overall the night lighting for this one is is perfectly fine it's a small airport i don't expect it to be flooded with lights it looks really really well done and with that said let's take a look at some of the before and afters for this airport here in sweden but just before that i always forget to add a uh, the creator uh, hasn't put too many of the included features on his page. He has mentioned that he has implemented PBR texturing, which, again, we can see as we looked over the airport. Um, the file for this is quite generous. It's only 300 megabytes. It's not a large airport, but the amount of detail and, and the textures added here are perfectly fine. No performance hit at all. I've not gained any FPS or lost any FPS. Uh, it's on par with the default scenery. Let's jump into the before and after montage and have a better look at the transformation on this one. So that was Hufte, or yeah, Hufte, not not Skufte. It's actually pronounced with a H, I believe. Or Hufte Airport here in Sweden. This is by Borgulus on flights uh, flightsin.to. The link is in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the Practically Geek channel for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again very very soon. Two twelve, you make a left turn there now. Hello, this is a. Hello, this is a. Very fun approach now, and I request a uh, vector via your company approach.